What is going on, Snow Squad? It's your boy Snow, and welcome back again here on All Star Tower Defense. And finally, guys, the update is dropped, even though it was delayed for so many times. I mean, you know, this, this is HDD. <laughs> we're so used to it, and we're born for it, I guess. But anyway, guys, there's a lot of things to cover, and as you guys can see, let me just hop into the HDD Discord server. Look at this, guys. There's a lot of things that they actually added, and some of the most notable stuff here will be, well, of course, all the pumpkins will now be openable there's gonna be a new seven star mysterious x that's gojo new six star the low rocks i don't know who the heck was that uh, we also have here this one this one this one new difficult raid type in world 2 and you guys are gonna love this because it's gonna give a one-time reward of 125 stardust and at the same time look at this guys they also added an anniversary raid in world number one lobby which you can actually do once a day for free stardust how much star Stardust? I don't know, but yeah, if you want to get the Stardust, well, there's actually a new code, but according to some of my pub kings here, the code would be this one. Happy three-year anniversary. I'm not, I'm not really sure. Wait, let me actually try that. Okay, there we go. Oh, okay. It actually worked. 300 Stardust. Wait, is that really is the code? I'm not really sure, but it worked. <laughs> I mean, it works. I guess that you can just use this code on your screen right now for you to actually get 300 Stardust. And I think I saw something like 2007. 750 gems but anyway guys let's head into my inventory and of course we have all of the boxes here from the event and this is the box i mean the pumpkin three why am i even calling it boxes and i guess that we're now gonna open it in three two one yo wait death painting is it sai upgrade and oh it was this dude okay yeah i saw it on the trailer uh well apparently this is gojo's i mean no no it's adori's brother if i'm not mistaken so choso or chozu i'm not really sure how to call that but equip blessing oh he also got a blessing nice let me see let me see yeah you're gonna have like two balls following you <laughs> look at this guy oh wait look at the effect this is so clean what you're gonna be splattering a lot of blood look at this oh my god i'm bleeding help call 911 but anyway let me just feed him to level 175 there we go and let's now see the power of choso here in ulcer tower defense Let's go. Historically speaking, especially for the new players here in All Star Tower Defense, previously on this kind of event, any unit that came from the gift box tree is actually ending up being part of the meta. I'm just not sure about the Pumpkin 3 because, you know, there's still a chance that this coming Christmas, they're gonna do another type of this event. So I'm not really sure if this dude in my shoulder will actually end up being a meta, but there's a chance. That's what I'm trying to say. But as you guys can see, 750 cash to place this new Jujutsu Kaisen character here in All Star Tower Defense. And and oh my god, the blood splattered, bro. The blood splatter is so good. And as you guys can see, he will be having this fire enchant. I'm gonna be starting off with the stats of 22.9k, 4 SPA, 40 range. I swear to god, if this unit cannot make the unit bleed, like, I don't even know. <laughs> I mean, his blessing is already making you bleed, and there's no reason for him not to. Actually, guys, uh, for those Jutsu Kaisen fans uh, out there, just let me know in the comment section below and explain to me what's the power of Choso in the anime. Like, uh, what is his potential? Is he like OPOP -OP in the anime? I mean, if he is the brother of Itadori, uh, I'm not gonna lie, he doesn't actually look like Itadori in any way. But anyway, guys, this is gonna be his animation. Oh, you guys saw that? You guys saw that? All right, I think that there's gonna be cool look he can make them bleed yeah all right so it seems that he's just gonna cast like a, a spell or a curse to the enemy and <laughs> their, their blood is just gonna explode out of their body look 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 <laughs> That is so cool. I really love the blood splatter. Anyway, guys, you can already see it as well here that he is a bleeder unit. So it means that the 22.9k damage that you guys can see here will still be multiplied by 5. And that's going to be his final damage. But he will only be starting off with this size of circle AoE and also this range. So it's going to be a possible unit to be used on early game. But anyway, guys, let's now do this upgrade. It's only going to be a filler upgrade. 40,000 cash, 275, yada, yada, yada. There you go. Another 60. Oh, they, they really have to do this, huh? 60. 
69,000 for this next filler upgrade, 231k. Wow, all right, damage growth, not bad because he's a bleeder. Okay, so the red scale, okay, this is gonna be his very first attack skill. So it's gonna cost us 120,000, a little bit of a big boy upgrade here. For the damage, now gonna be up to 2.4 million. Range is gonna be 70. However, his attack cooldown or SPA will be increased by seven. So that's doubled his previous one. But actually, guys, uh, wait, can we actually place? Oh, there can only be also one death painting. Anyways, let's just do it in three, two, one. Ah, oh, bro, I was expecting for him to be full AoE. All right, so he will change that circle AoE earlier to this uh, type of semi-AoE call. Not really that bad, but I think that he's still lacking a little bit of range. Besides, he's not maxed yet. I mean, 70 range is not bad, but 2.4 million, like this 2.4 million damage, guys, plus the bleed, that's already a decent damage. But anyway, I just wanted to see his new attack animation. Ooh, all right. You know what he is reminding me of, at least for the animation? It's gonna be uh, that dragon, well, wait, wait, wait. is it, is it? Gogeta, Vegito, something like that, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, like that one? Like, I'm pretty sure that we already had this kind of animation before, but just like a sword, not like a painting, something like that. Anyway, guys, let's now continue upgrading him. So, 150,000 this time, another fellow upgrade, 4.3 million damage. There we go. And Convergence will be his final and last upgrade. So, 11,000, I mean, 11.6 a million. That is a very big boy upgrade. Like, super duper expensive, at least for the last upgrade. But, woo! Okay, 13.7 million okay all right i mean remember guys that this unit is a bleeder all right so what are the range as well i mean this this is a normal spa will be 10 seconds which is just understandable because i mean 13.7 million plus a bleed is already big i mean without buff as well let's do it boys there we go and he's a f what ain't no way bro oh my god he's a freaking full aoe Dude! That is insane. I mean, yeah, yeah, 13.7 million plus bleed is not like the best that we've seen here in also tower defense. I'm pretty sure about that, but uh, yeah, hear me out. Hear me out first. He is full AoE, guys. Even though his SPA is 10 seconds, like once his range is already buffed, he's gonna make the whole map bleed. That's that's the good thing about it. Oh my god. He's gonna cost a total of what? Uh, is this 11 million? No, no, 12 million, which is also not as expensive as those meta units that we've had. He's actually good. Oh my god. Jujutsu Kaisen fans would actually love this. Damn. All right. So the animation will be like this. Gonna summon a lot of balls in the air. Look at that. And all of them will explode one by one. All right. I'm not really sure what kind of uh, technique is this or at least the canon name of that. But yeah, I mean, the animation is kind of cool. Well, it's not blood, I guess, because this name is what? Death Painting. So I guess that it's paint, like red paint. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, that's going to be his full stat. So if we're going to buff him out using our Yuabaha, who also got a buff himself, by the way, guys. Not not really a buff buff, but they already fixed the, the range and also the damage timing buff. All right. So this is going to be his final stats. 55.1 million plus, oh my God, plus bleed. So 55 multiply that to six. That's going to be his full damage 10 spa and range will be 120 and not only this guys not only this because if you remember you know what let me just sell this if you remember if you're gonna place him and upgrade him to upgrade number two this form is really possible to be used in early game because it's only gonna cost you like 110,000. so that's that that's actually usable at least for raids i mean you will have a unit that can damage like 731,000 without buff actually why not with buff i mean you're gonna have a unit that can damage like 2.92 million per four seconds but his spa is four seconds so that's the reason why they can't really make it bigger at least all i'm saying guys is he's actually a complete decent unit you know early game possible to be used late game gonna be a monster bleeder that can make the whole freaking map to bleed so if for some reason you didn't get like the pumpkin three well uh i guess that you can just trade for it you know <laughs> i guess that you can trade for it because it's still possible but man i think that the value of pumpkin three will just 
just skyrocket after getting a unit that has a blessing and also has a good stats you know acd trading guys you know it they're, they're just gonna overprice it at this point but anyway uh, let me know in the comment section below especially jujutsu kaisen fans what can you say about choso here in all star tower defense do you think that they did him dirty do you think that he got his justice let me know your thoughts down in the comments and uh, i'll see you guys kind of the next one stay cold guys use star code snow whenever you're buying robux peace